This Rust Bucket group build was absolutely perfect timing for me. I've had this vehicle for a while, the 53 Ford truck. I already knew what I wanted to do with it. So I just combined this group build with this special project. An opportunity for a new challenge. I have never built a Rust Bucket, any type of rust at all. So this is gonna be a real challenge on one hand, but definitely a lot of fun because I don't have to do so much concentration on the paint job. I've already started adding my dents and damages to the vehicle by using a lighter, then pushing that plastic in. Just adding some more damage here. You'll see why in a minute. These are my colors I'm using. Matte red pepper and a white primer for that base. And my reference for this build is the Sanford and Son truck from the greatest show of all times, Sanford and Son. I dedicate this build to my late grandparents when I used to watch this show every single night with them, followed by Gunsmoke. As a matter of fact, by the time Gunsmoke came on, my grandmother had tapped out, but not me and granddaddy. We was locked right in. As you can see, I'm only putting one tack coat of the red on here. I want some of that white showing through, and I also want the paint loose. And I'm going to knock off any excess paint to give me a rough surface. And I want to emulate peeling paint, of course, from a vehicle that's rusting out. And this is everything I'm going to use to rust this vehicle out. Acrylic wash and mahogany. That's a rust paint from testers. Black craft paint. Brown craft paint. And I also picked up this Tamiya kit for weathering as a backup if these don't work. So I'm using that mahogany wash to fill in all that white to give me that rust effect. This should create an excellent patina on this truck. You can see it rusting out already as it dries. Honestly, with this being my first time doing a rust bucket build, I'm absolutely shocked on how this is turning out. Incredible for me. And here are my final results. I really love the patina look on this truck and those deep rust spots I came up with. So far, so good, we have the Sanford and Son truck. When I think about this patina and rust job, I think about something that's ugly and beautiful at the same time. I named her Esther. <laughs>